These freshly painted engines look nice, but they're missing something. Let's learn how to finish them with decals. To get started, you'll need a freshly painted model, a strip of decals, and some research material so that you know where to properly place the decals on your model. You will also need some scissors or a knife to cut the decals out of the sheet. Some distilled water along with either a pan or dish to put the water in. And some decal setting solution with Q-tips to apply. Optionally, you may use some clear paint to help seal the decals at the end, but you will definitely need some paper towels to clean up any messes. After you have cut the decal from the backing paper, place it on the model and arrange it until you're happy with its location. Take note of any paint lines, windows, louvers, or other identifying marks so you can find its location later. Then you can set the decal aside and with a paper towel, get it wet in the distilled water and clean the model's surface. This way we can remove any oily residue. Once it's clean, dip your finger in the distilled water and wet the model surface. Then we can take the decal and fully submerse it in the distilled water. It only needs to be here for a few moments to get it fully saturated. Once it's wet, we'll place it on the model in its rough location and then begin to slide the decal carefully off of the backing paper. Don't force it or you might wrinkle it. Just take your time. Once we've slid the backing paper off, you can set that aside and then adjust the decal until it's in its correct location. After we let the decal dry for about five minutes, we now can begin to use a setting solution. We'll begin with the red labeled setting solution and a Q-tip to apply it. We'll apply it first around the edges of the decal so that it may be wicked up under the decal. Use a dabbing motion so that you don't pull or stretch the decal. Also, stipple it on any irregular surfaces such as rivets, lines, or bumps. After you've applied the decal setting solution, you may notice that the decal is wrinkled slightly. This is normal, just let it alone. After the first decal setting solution is mostly dried, we will now use the blue labeled setting solution. Although this is described as a decal remover, I find that this helps to really melt the decal into all the little nooks and crannies. Once again, using a Q-tip, dabble along the edges of the decal or any irregular surfaces. Do not wipe with the Q-tip or you may smudge the decal. It is very delicate at this point. Now we see the completed diesel engines with all of their decals applied. Thank you for watching.